Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to talk about LGBTQ recommendations because it is Pride Month. Today it is June 14th, so we're already like halfway across Pride Month. I'm so sorry that I'm only like just talking about this right now. This month has been very hectic. I just need to finish a couple of deadlines before summer starts and then I'll be back as usual here on my booktube channel. But before I'm gonna get into some really awesome book recommendations regarding LGBTQ and Pride Month, I just wanna let you guys know that please check out my description box down below for information regarding Black Lives Matter movements, like petitions that you can sign, things that you can donate to, but also because this is like a pride LGBTQ related video, I will leave some pages down below about information regarding LGBTQ stuff. But know that I'm not an expert. If you have better resources than the ones that I found, please let them know in the comments down below so I can adjust my description. But yeah, important stuff is in the description box down below. Please go check that out. And right now, let's get into some really awesome LGBTQ related books. And by saying that I have some like LGBTQ related book recommendations, I mean that either the story involves LGBTQ themes or that the author is LGBTQ him or herself. I think that a lot of my recommendations will be books that you haven't really heard a lot of people talk about. So I think that is awesome. Let's start with book number one, The Last True Poets of the Sea. And in Dutch, because this is the Dutch version, it is called Wat de Zee vertelt by Julia Drake. What I loved about this story is the main focus of the plot is not about the LGBTQ aspect. It is a contemporary that dives very deep into self-exploration. It's a little bit deeper. So we follow Violet and she has kind of had like a rough teenage years. She just has been hanging out with not the greatest people and her brother has done a suicide attempt. Of course, this has a really big impact on her family and herself. Because of everything that has been going on, she is being sent to to stay with her uncle in this town called What's this town called again? Lyric. And what is very interesting about this town called Lyric is that Violet's great 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 grandmother or something and her great 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 grandfather have survived this ship wreckage. The ship called the Lyric sank and only her grandma and grandpa survived. And then the town was named after this ship. And because of like her family history and everything that is going on in her family right now, she wants to find the sunken ship the lyric and Violet is gonna get the help from the amateur historian Liv and together they are kind of like trying to find out where the ship wreckage is. Is there even a ship wreckage? Violet might notice that she is getting more feelings from Liv than just friendship feelings. This book just has a certain vibe and I think this is like a perfect read for when it's like raining. I thought that just the things that Viola did, they were so deep and she's definitely not a perfect character and I also really liked the aspect of the lyric and her family history. It is a very family driven book and then the LGBTQ aspect is there, which I really like. It's really nice to have books where the LGBTQ aspect is like a big part of the plot, but I think it's also just really nice and necessary for it to just be there and just exist. Then I have a nonfiction book, which I just finished and this one is The Master's Tools Will Never Dismantle the Master's House by Audre Lorde and Audre Lorde described herself as being black, lesbian, a mother, warrior, poet and that just sounds absolutely amazing. These are I believe like five essays that Audre Lorde has written all put together in this little tiny collection. It explores subjects such as feminism and racism and being true to yourself. It was just absolutely wonderful and with nonfiction books I do also mark it. I don't know if you can see it with like a pen of quotes that I think are just really important or just very very good and I loved the way that Audre Lorde wrote all these essays. She's written quite some poetry as well so I will definitely look more into Audre Lorde. Another author recommendation is Juno Dawson. Juno Dawson is a transgender female but the story of Meat Market is not based about LGBTQ stuff. I think if you've been following me for a while on my channel you know that I love Meat Market like so so much. So our main character is Jana Novak and she's quite an androgynous looking girl and when she is with her friends at this theme park she gets like scouted by a modeling 
scouter is that what you call that person and basically her whole modeling career starts from that moment on her life has been very just like normal and ordinary before this whole modeling thing happens so this story explores how she deals with the sudden urge of fame but also a lot of the like body shaming the fat shaming in the modeling industry so i felt like this was a very body positive book and i just i loved it so incredibly much i don't think it's like a perfect book i don't think there has been a perfect book ever or at least I haven't discovered it. I just really, really like this book and I think more people need to read this. I really care about the body positivity movement as well. So it's not like this is a full on body positivity YA fiction book, but it definitely deals with topics such as body shaming and feeling the need that you need to restrict yourself to diets and you need to have a certain weight and you need to look a certain way. And what I really loved about this book is that you saw how fame was affecting Jana's life, not only because she was getting like so many amazing deals and she had to deal with body shaming stuff and everything like that but also you saw how she handled or didn't handle certain friendships or even her relationship that well and I felt like this is just a very raw and realistic book and I love raw and realistic books because they can hurt you so much. I'm very excited to read more of Juno Dawson's work. I have one of her other books which is called Clean which is about drug addiction so I haven't read anything like that before as well but please please go check out some of Juno Dawson's work. Of course I can not not talk about the next series in an LGBTQ recommendations video but I'm gonna keep it very brief because I'm pretty sure that like 99% of you guys have heard of this series and that is the Heartstopper comic series. I believe there are gonna be four or five volumes in this series. I'm not too sure. These are just absolutely wonderful graphic novels. So in this book we follow Nick and Charlie and on one day they need to sit together in class and Charlie has been out so a lot of the people know in school that he is actually gay but Charlie is crushing really really hard on Nick but he's pretty sure that Nick is not interested in guys until dot dot dot. <laughs> it's not really spoilers what I'm gonna say but I'm gonna like talk a little bit about the themes in these books so if you consider that like spoilers then maybe just like skip this little part of the video. But this book is mainly about questioning your sexuality. And then volume two which is my favorite of this whole series. This one is just absolutely adorable because this one is more about trying to accept your sexuality and Charlie and Nick their relationship also kind of evolves and I loved it so much. I think I was definitely like crying happy tears in this book a couple of times. I love Ellis Oseman's drawing style and by the way Ellis Oseman is also just an amazing author, an LGBTQ author that I want to recommend. I've discovered her books ever since the beginning of this year and I want to read them all because I just love her writing style and her stories so much. And volume three was mm, mm, chef's kiss as well. It was so so good but this one is a little bit more heavy and a little bit more serious. I did film like a reading vlog because I held like a little readathon read along for these three volumes somewhere in March. So if you want to see me reading these books in that vlog, I will leave it somewhere here up on the screen. And then last but definitely not least, I have The Black Flamingo by Dean Adda. This is my most recently finished book and it was so amazing. Oh my god, I cannot recommend this book enough. It was just like a four hour book on script and it is written in verse, I believe, but because I was listening to it, I didn't really experience it in that way. This is a book about a mixed race gay teen. You follow his whole story from childhood to becoming a young adult, like kind of my age, I think, at the start of college. And he is just struggling so much with his identity and with his mixed race. And like, he also has some family issues regarding his father. It's all about his experience growing up as a mixed race gay teen. It was so beautifully written and at the end he also gets more into drag which I've never read any book that involves drag which I thought was really really amazing to read and I'm just obsessed with how Dean Adda wrote this book and it was so it was so beautiful. <sighs> emotions. Please go check this book out. If you have scri script scribed, I don't know how to say that, please go check it out on there but also just buy it physically because it's just oh, it's a masterpiece of a book. I've been recording for 20 minutes but I think that all these books 
are absolutely wonderful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. If you want to follow me on all of my different social media pages, of course you can. Because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, plus an email address, and links to those will be in the description box down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!